Hey guys, it's Core Ross and World War 6 News. So the mid-season balance and patch is out today. And this one has been incredibly controversial and also a lot of people are misunderstanding the changes. So we're gonna jump in and test them all today. Now, because this is the first mid-season balance and patch we've got in probably the last four years or more that did not have its own test ever session, it meant that I had to actually record at the weekend all the before tests on the live servers. And then once the patch hit today, I then went in and did my new tests. So of course, can't go back and do old tests now because of course, this is live server update for the mid-season, which is very unusual. So if you like the effort I put into these videos, you can always become a channel member or a Patreon. But let's jump straight into the testing. So we'll start with Vigil and the patch notes mentioned that his glitching effect would now be similar to Nukes and it would also not switch off when he shoots or performs actions. And a lot of people interpreted this as the white HUD elements would actually be gone, whereas I did not think that would be the case. So this is the old version right now you're seeing, and it shows when Vigil's gadget is on and he's moving around, even if he is sprinting, he's completely invisible to the drone's camera. However, we have these big white HUD elements on the screen that allow us to know that Vigil is close, and of course they go down or up depending on the distance away he is. And that when he fires his weapon, he becomes visible as his gadget switches off. Now switching over to the new Vigil, we can see that we still have the on-screen HUD elements for the drones, we know Vigil's nearby, but he has been nerfed here as the video corruption element when he is sprinting is now present, making him far more vulnerable to being spotted and he'll have to move around slower if there's any drones nearby. However, when he fires his weapon, he will have the video corruption effect, the glitching effect that was in the patch notes. Now, of course, tactically, this is not that much use because if an attacker sees this they're not going to be sitting there going i wonder what that is or who that might be because he's the only guy on defense who does this so they're going to know it's him but as a video player it's just nice i guess that you won't have to like switch it back on after you shoot at least it'll just automatically still be going so at that point you can just walk away and get relocated while not becoming fully visible but like i say the attackers are still going to know pretty much where you are it's also a nice bonus that he can put his gadgets down as well without becoming totally visible, which might be useful in the prep phase, but of course the attackers are still gonna know that it's him. Like there's not gonna be much confusion over that. Now moving on to the next test, which is all about Vigil being immune to Grim and Lion's gadgets and that that immunity was being removed. So a very big nerf if that was to be the case. And this was the patch notes that confused me because they talked about removing the immunity, but also that he could just activate his ability to avoid being pinged, which sounds like immunity. And we'll start with Grim. So in the old version, if Vigil's ability was on, he was completely immune to Grim's bees, allowing him to move through completely undetected, as long as his gadget was on. And now let's take a look at the new version, which surprised me because he is still completely immune to Grimm's bees. But if you happen to be on a drone when he's moving through the bees, he will then have the distortion effect on him. So a very minor change here. And unless you have a teammate watching your bees with a drone, this is going to have pretty much no impact on gameplay for the most part and he can still move through those bees without being pinged, which is a huge advantage and great to still have. I will say that the bees do follow him through the cloud. So he goes into that cloud of bees, they will follow him out of it, even if he's got his ability on and he's invisible to them. Then if his ability runs out or is switched off before that little additional cloud of bees is off of him, he'll still get pinged. But for the most part, if his ability is on, he's completely immune, with only a distortion effect on the camera views of stuff like the drones. Now moving on to Lion. So pretty simple, if Vigil's ability was on when Lion's scan was going off, even if Vigil was moving, he would not be detected in any way. And then taking a look at the new version, it is extremely simple. So he is still completely immune to being pinged by Lion's drone when his ability is on. However, if you just happen to be on a drone that is watching him while a lion scan is going off and he is also moving, he will have the distortion effect and that's it. That's the, that's the biggest change here. So it's just basically bringing it in line with what they seem to be doing, which is they want to universally uh, get the glitch sorted out. So the glitch is consistent with Nuke and Vigil, I guess, with any gadget interaction. And that is honestly it. That's the only change with lion here. And that's all the changes for Vigil, fully tested, so let's move on to Nuke. So an old version for Nuke, if she was on the cams, 
and she was moving around, you would not see her unless she started to sprint, which would cause her to glitch. On stuff like Mozzie's drone, exactly the same thing, completely invisible, no HUD elements to show that she's there, but if she starts to sprint, you'll see that glitchiness effect. And this is basically exactly the same when it comes to observation tools in the new version. She's got the same glitchiness if she starts sprinting or stuff like that, and she'll glitch if she starts to shoot, just like Vigil does now, but this is unchanged for Nuke, she did that before as well. However, outside of video feeds, she has been dramatically changed, and that is the removal of her silent step ability, as Nuke is basically a combination of Cav and Vigil smashed together with some of their abilities coming through, like Cav's silent step ability, which makes her quiet when moving. So Nuke no longer has that silent step ability. I've got a couple of quick clips here just to show you the before and after for crouching and walking while her ability is on. She also does not hold her arm up anymore when her ability is on, which it just kind of sucks from the first person perspective and hopefully that's just a bug that they'll return at some point. But have a quick listen and then we'll move on to the Oryx changes. So the change to Oryx is a super simple one, he is able to climb hatches 30% faster. And as you can see in the direct comparisons here, that is significantly faster and definitely feels and looks cooler. And then finally, no testing needed here, this is just that the 1.5x is on Thorn right now. So if you didn't know this was a part of the patch or whatever, get on to Thorn, get her 1.5 equipped and probably play her a ton because that's a great weapon and it's going to be incredible with the 1.5. And that's it guys, that is the new mid-season balancing patch tested. Like I say, a very unusual patch this time around. And hopefully the lack of a test server means that no big huge bugs have got through. And uh, we can see this, the actual changes are relatively simple. When I did go into the new patch, it came up and said Vigil rework. And it's like, this is not a rework. This is, you know, again, it's a bit of a tweak. So I think they need to... When it comes to, to saying stuff, like first of all, putting 2.0 on stuff and rework on stuff, they have to be very uh, much putting that on stuff to make significant differences and not to overuse 2.0 and rework all the time because otherwise it's just going to end up diluting it. And the actual reason I think we got such a kind of weird fast patch for the mid-season is because they're going to push most balance and stuff into the actual season because I don't think there's much content. And I also have a theory that we're going to get a second event this season which will be a big surprise. So we'll see if that ends up coming through. That's just a total theory on my part. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this mid-season patch in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time.